We've tried making three apps, including a Shopify app using GPT-5, but we haven't really tried making a Shopify theme with this model. And as you probably know, Shopify themes are not like regular apps. In fact, it is not an app. So that begs the question, is it possible to vibe code a Shopify theme using GPT-5? Well, you'll find out in today's video. Now, before we start, we will be using Shopify's dev MCP server to get better results. But there's actually another reason why you should turn on the light. So yeah, I was saying we will be using Shopify Dev MCP server to get better results. But there's actually another reason why you should use Shopify Dev MCP when you develop Shopify themes. And that is the validate underscore theme tool. You can get this tool by adding the liquid environment variable and setting it to true. This will add the tool validate underscore theme, which will ensure that your Shopify theme follows the guidelines of Shopify. Oh, by the way, if you're confused and you don't know anything about MCP servers, check out my video right over here where I explain how to use Shopify Dev MCP. Anyway, in today's video, I'm going to use the Shopify theme that we have developed a while ago. You are an OG if you remember the Shopify theme. So let me know in the comments below if you know exactly what this theme is about. So here in Warp, we can finally use the tool validate underscore theme. And Warp should start using that MCP tool and validate our Shopify theme. So here, it provided us with a huge list of issues that we need to fix. We have high priorities such as in the layout password.liquid, we are not using preload tag for CSS links. We have missing files like snippets, sections, and assets. We also have a known object like scheme underscore classes. I don't know where that come from. Also in the layout theme.liquid, we are not using defer for the script tag and so on. I'm not gonna go through this whole list as I'm pretty sure you already know the gist of this tool. The tool validate underscore theme will make it easier not just for you but also for AI agents to work with Shopify themes or on your Shopify themes. So with that said, let's see if GPT-5 can work on this priority or this high priority issues. So let's say let's work on high priority issues. And there you go, it started to create a plan to tackle all those high priority issues. Interesting Interestingly, it just creates stubs to quote unquote fix those issues. And to those of you who don't know, stubs are basically placeholders that simulate the behavior of real components. It is used during development or testing when the actual code isn't available yet. I've taken a look at those stubs and it seems to be using these weird characters. And I'm pretty sure this is GPT-5's doing. Okay, after creating those stubs, it once again uses the MCP tool validate underscore theme to check if those errors still persist. And there you go, it is now fixed. Quote unquote, fixed. <laughs> I'm using a lot of air quotes. Anyway, let's run the Shopify theme dev and see if it broke my Shopify theme. And now if you take a look here, it looks like it's still working. I don't see any issues at all, even though we have those problematic stops. Now let's try something simple, honestly. Let's work on the header.liquid and change the sign up button to use the button color scheme of our Shopify theme because it's pretty inconsistent as you can see. And just like that, we have updated our button. That's pretty good. It would usually take me half an hour or so to debug and change that, but GPT-5 managed to update it in less than a minute, which actually makes me more excited to know if GPT-5 can make Shopify themes from scratch. But of course, before we try that, let's try to build a template from scratch. Let's do this step by step, okay? Now let's prompt, let's work on the product template. And it says, what would you like to change on the product template? No, we haven't worked on it yet. Let's say the product template is not yet implemented. So let's create that. Interestingly, it created a new section called main-product. It's the same file name that Shopify used with their Shopify themes like Dawn. I personally would go with template product because personally, I think it makes sense. It's just a minor nitpick. It's not a big deal. So if you go back to the online store, it only displays the images. And I think I know why. My guess is that it's not using the blocks. Yeah, I'm right. It's empty here in the div. So if we take a look at our code, we can see that we are looping for each block in section blocks. And if we go back to the theme editor, we don't have blocks. So let's add them and voila we have fixed it. Okay, we have this error in the buy buttons and that's okay, we'll fix that. So let's just copy, paste, and then bam. 
<laughs> so if we reload our page, it should now be fixed and we can add this to the cart and there we go, it works. You don't see it because we don't have a cart page yet, but trust me, it works. If we go back and click the buy now button, it should redirect us to the checkout page. There we go. That's almost done. There's another issue related to the translation. So let's just quickly fix that by copying the error and pasting it in the chat. Boom, pow, bada ba, boom, pow. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do is use Tailwind CLI because the Shopify theme must have used CSS classes that are not yet added to the compiled style sheet. So we'll just do npm run dev and that should compile. Oh, by the way, if you want me to make a video about Tailwind CSS for Shopify theme development, let me know in the comments below. And now if you go back to the online store, it should look much better at least. So that is GPT-5 and as you can see, it can actually work with Shopify themes thanks to Shopify Dev MCP server. Did it produce the best results? That is debatable. But can it produce good enough results if you keep prompting? Pretty sure it can. So now, Let's find out if GPT-5 can build a Shopify theme from scratch. I've created this very thorough prompt with the help of GPT or ChatGPT using GPT-5 model. And so if you want to use the same prompt, let me know in the comments, I'll share it to you. But here we go, are you ready? Let's prompt it. Son of a bitch. 